Nate's not here. He can't tell me no. <laughs> In today's video, we are seeing what strange things we can cook with a toaster. Guys, I have been left alone in the kitchen today and I got some toasters. Now, if you're familiar with this channel, you know that we tend to go through a lot of kitchen appliances because we horribly misuse them and that's exactly what we're gonna do today. So there's this picture online of somebody who has put a grilled cheese sandwich into a toaster, flipped it on its side and made a grilled cheese sandwich that way. I wanna try that today along with a few other things. So yes, a grilled cheese sandwich, but what else can you cook just using a toaster? Here's the basic idea. You may have seen a picture on the internet of a way to cook a grilled cheese sandwich in a toaster. Today we're going to try that along with a few other things. To start off, we're gonna go ahead and open up our toasters and we're just gonna start with the grilled cheese sandwich because I've seen it, I wanna see if it works. Oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna destroy it. All right, three toasters. Now, I didn't get all the same kind of toaster because they didn't have them at the store. So we have three different types and I think that's actually gonna work out just fine. We'll start cooking a few things at the same time, but we are gonna start with the grilled cheese. Why is it that the cuter it is, the more I wanna destroy it? There, a perfect grilled cheese. All right, and turn it on its side. While that's going, I'm going to see if we need to do anything to modify our other toasters so that we can put stuff in them inappropriately. Next up, deep dish pizza. Now I chose the deep dish pizza because what I'm hoping is that the little lip of bread on the edge of the pizza itself will keep the, uh, the bars on the toaster from squishing down onto it because I'm not gonna remove those. I'm hoping these toasters will still work by the time I'm done. So we're gonna do the same thing that we're doing with the grilled cheese sandwich. I'm gonna turn this on its side and I'm gonna put the pizza in, treat it like a toaster oven and see if it works. Now I do have some reservations about this because, well, the pizza's frozen. Grilled cheese sandwich isn't. Now I know you can put like egos and strudels and stuff in a toaster and have it come out just fine and that's kind of what I'm hoping will happen. Pro tip, maybe don't make grilled cheese sandwiches this way. Okay, let's go ahead and hit the cancel on that because we've started a kitchen fire. No big deal, but I think the fire alarm might go off. Good. You know, I had high hopes for this one. Look at that grilled cheese sandwich. Mm-mm-mm. Now, I will say this, melted the cheese, and when I have seen this done by different people on the internet, like I said, they put it in the toaster sideways. Some people will just do one slice of bread with the cheese. I didn't want the cheese to get stuck to the metal tines that are in there. Didn't really matter, it did anyways. Toasters, good for toast, not for an entire sandwich. Let's burn something else. 500 degrees. I had no idea that toasters got this hot. 600 degrees. All right, so highest I saw it get to was 815 degrees Fahrenheit. That's much hotter than you need to cook a pizza at. And you cook pizzas at a high temperature, about 450 degrees. So I have some concerns. I have some concerns. So instead of turning this one on its side because we weren't having a lot of luck, I'm going to just turn this on and set the pizza on top. Let's try that. For our third toaster, we're gonna go ahead and put some chicken tenders in there. Funnily enough, the instructions don't tell me how to cook chicken nuggets in the toaster. Guess I'm just winging it because it's chicken wings. It's, they're not chicken wings. Never mind. <laughs> Let's start with many. Perfect. And these are frozen, so let's go ahead and use the frozen button. Oh, it's actually getting kind of crispy. Neat. I do feel like somebody in some college dorm somewhere has had to have tried some of these things, right? I'm not the first, I'm not crazy. And both machines are smoking again. All right, let's take a look at the bottom of our pizza now. It's just turned off. Ooh, not like that. Okay, way overcooked. And the top is still frozen. We'll give it one more pass around. I don't have much faith in it anymore, but let's see. All right, so this might be cheating a little bit, but we're gonna try and capture some of the heat here. Let's just squish it down onto the pizza. Oh, and already you can see that steam coming up. This is Mark, our camera guy's idea. Now, I'm just curious because I wanna know if you just have a toaster in your kitchen, if that's like the one appliance that you've got, how many things could you cook that are just frozen foods? I say while it smokes in front of me. I'm gonna go with not many, but we'll keep trying anyways. All right, I'm calling this one. This pizza's on fire. 
I'm taking this briquette outside. So twice through the toaster, and we have got cooked chicken tenders. Yeah, hot on the inside, still juicy, didn't dry out. It's actually a very convenient way to cook chicken nuggets. <laughs> a little bit of burning, but not terrible. All of them cooked through. Yeah, that one is a success. All right, now here's the one that I am most excited to try. I'm pretty sure this is going to work. We're going to cut this steak into some thinner strips and put it into the toaster for a small amount of time. Now, this is way hotter than you ever want to cook steak at, so it'll be interesting. We're gonna try two different methods here. On one, I'm just going to put the steak directly into the toaster and we're going to see if it cooks or just sears the outside. For the other one, I'm actually just going to put a pan right on the surface and I think that'll get it hot enough to actually sear the steak. I'm getting that impression because that's kind of what happened to the pizza, so let's find out. Don't put silverware into your toaster, guys. I made sure everything was unplugged before I did. Ha! Sure enough, we have cooked steak on a toaster. <laughs> it's really good. Now we just have to see how the one in the toaster turns out. Okay, so problem one, it's stuck to the bottom. Good to know. Oh my gosh, that actually looks like a very, very good piece of steak. And it's cooked all the way through. It's actually well done, past well done. Very cooked steak in a toaster. And I'm so pleased. All right, it's time to try an entire piece of steak. And into the toaster it goes. All right, so we talked about before how this toaster runs at about 800 degrees Fahrenheit. And normally when you're cooking steak on say a grill, it can be about 500, it can be hotter, but you don't need it to be. Now we've had this going for about nine and a half, almost 10 minutes at such a high temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and see what they look like. Look at that. That is a cooked steak. Oh my gosh. That is cooked to perfection. Oh my gosh. Uh, there were so many variables that could have gone wrong. It could have, you know, burned. The fat could have caught fire. It could have just not cooked it at all. Guys, I think I just cooked a really good steak in a toaster. Good, this is good. This is very, very good. Guys, you can cook steak in a toaster. Other things that you can cook in a toaster, you can definitely cook things like uh, chicken tenders, things I wouldn't recommend, stuff that has uh, anything that's going to drip down into the toaster, even sideways like, say, a pizza. But something like steak or I'm sure other kinds of meats, it actually works and it's really fun. If you've been watching this channel, you know that we tend to go through a lot of appliances. We have gone through microwaves, we have gone through cotton candy machines, We've gone through dishwashers, deep fryers, you name it. Now we're going through toasters. Is there anything else you want to see us do with them? Let us know in the comments below. Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. If you like this kind of content, make sure to hit that box up there and check out our latest videos. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.